It was his desire to return to the Middle East as quickly as possible to continue with his humanitarian efforts. And as such, his offer was that he would withdraw his right to re-enter the country, he would agree to leave the United States forevermore, and he would waive any future claim to return or any future claim for recovery or use of his green card. That, in the original offer, gave the United States government everything they could have possibly expected, plus more, even if they were in the unlikelihood uh, uh, to, um, to prevail at the hearing. We believe that um, Mr. Marzouk, on trying to enter the country, um, violated our, or became excludable because we believe that we can show that he has participated in terrorist activities or is likely to participate in terrorist activities upon entry in the country. And in on what basis? With his military and political and educational humanitarian ends. Tennessee. You know, uh, his family, uh, being American, Palestinians, living here, you know, for uh, quite some time. Uh, for them, you know, this is their home, yes. ultimately. And he so wants he to stay here. About uh, first, being I understand that his families and his so kids, yes, they want to stay over so here. And he wants to stay.